Now to an update on the breaking news. The death of O.J. Simpson, the former NFL star turned actor who was acquitted of murdering his ex-wife and her friend in a televised trial that gripped the nation. Well, he has died of cancer at the age of 76. That's according to a statement from his own family. NBC10 national correspondent Jay Gray has a look back at his life. A Heisman Trophy winner and NFL Hall of Fame running back, O.J. Simpson, will be remembered most for something he could never run from. Born Orenthal James Simpson in 1947, he was raised by a single mom on the rough side of San Francisco. His way out, football. A college star at USC, he was drafted by the Buffalo Bills, where he had a record-setting NFL career, including a league MVP. He retired as one of the best to ever play the game. And for OJ, the spotlight never dimmed. Nobody does it better than... Transitioning into a successful career in TV and movies. That's great. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1985, the same year he married his second wife, Nicole Brown. The couple had two children, but apparently a rocky marriage that included allegations of domestic abuse. Nicole Brown Simpson filed for divorce in February of 1992, and just over two years later, she and a friend, Ron Goldman, were found murdered in her Brentwood home. Suspect may be driving a white or light-colored Ford Bronco. Five days after the deadly attack driven by a former teammate, Simpson led officers on a low-speed chase across Los Angeles, threatening to take his own life before eventually surrendering to police. He was charged with murder. The court proceedings dubbed the trial of the century. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Lasted nine months every minute. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of a... On live TV. Justice was not served. Searching for that justice, the Goldman family won a civil suit. Simpson ordered to pay more than $33 million. He returned to court multiple times over the next several years for traffic violations, even pirating cable TV. But it was a Las Vegas robbery in 2008. Simpson saying he was taking back stolen personal property that ultimately sent him to prison. Count one, conspiracy to commit a crime. Guilty. Count Sentenced two. to 33 years, he served just over nine. Thank you. Thank you. Before being paroled in 2017. Jay Gray, NBC News.